Hello and welcome to Do It Like a Dancer. I am Julian Rhodes and today I just wanted to do a quick little video about dealing with stage fright. Um, because I think it's something that a lot of, of dancers, even if you're very experienced, sort of still go through. Um, at this point, I don't anymore just because yeah, I've performed a lot and I've also gotten really, really good at improvising, which makes which makes a difference. Um, and so, but nonetheless, you know, throughout most of my life and career, I've had to deal with stage fright and pre-performance nerves. So I just wanted to talk about some different strategies to sort of combating um, combating this. So there's, I think there's sort of a difference maybe with stage fright and pre-performance pre nerves. Um, but for the purposes of this video, I'm putting them together. Um, I think one of the main things that people are scared about is forgetting what they're doing, right? That you, you get on stage and you freeze. And one of the issues is that when you're in your sort of pre-performance adrenaline state and you try to visualize what you have to do, your mind often goes blank and sort of it gives you this impression that you don't know what you're doing, that you're going to forget what you're doing on stage. Um, but it's, it's not, it's, 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 it's a trick because um, adrenaline is basically bringing you up to the energy to be on stage um, and it's not it doesn't necessarily mean that you've forgotten your movements right because muscle memory is something different so one advice actually that i would have is is before a performance don't try to visualize what you're supposed to do because you often thinking through movement you forget or you you kind of blank out it's pretty rare to like completely blank out when you're on stage, but if you're doing a solo, you can sort of cover it by doing something else until you know where you are. Um, if you're in a group, you can follow somebody else. And quite frankly, the audience neither notices nor cares. Um, again, this is something that people will tell you and it doesn't really help, but it's true that like, honestly, the audience has no idea. Recently, I did a performance where there was a glitch in the lights um, and every now and then it would just start flashing randomly and they had to sort of turn off all the lights and turn it back on in order for them to work. And it was such an obvious glitch that from my perspective, but there were actually audience members who thought it was on purpose and who actually liked the effect. So in, unless you tell them, um, you know, and even if, you know, if you fall down or something like this, you know, you can always bring it into a movement and the audience is not necessarily going to know. And also for the most part, they are on your side. People come to a, a performance to watch dancers. They don't come to a performance to sort of see how many mistakes have been made. So these are a couple things to remind yourself, but don't visualize, it's not good for you. Um, what I suggest is that um, there, one of the biggest ways to avoid stage fright is to be prepared, right? To be, to have done your rehearsal to the point where you, um, you feel even if you forget, your body remembers, right? So some of that is, for example, you stop using the mirrors at a certain point if you're learning choreography. You know, you turn around and face the other way. Um, you know, some of it is just making sure that you have gone through all of the movements in a rehearsal setting and you're really comfortable with them. One of the biggest, I think, um, factors in stage fright is is the feeling of being unprepared. So one of the best ways to combat it is to be prepared. Um, I think also knowing how to improvise is really, really useful um, because it just makes you, gives you sort of a, a backup plan that like, I know that if I forget, I can improvise until I remember, right? And And this is something of just, that's again, that's training. Um, and experimenting with improvising and, um, you know, just being comfortable with, with your craft. But again, when it comes down to it, there you are in front of your, you know, in ready for the performance. 
Um, so what do you do? I think the first thing that I would say that you have to do before any performance, no matter how hard, you know, how nervous you're feeling, how tense you're feeling, is you have to warm up. I don't care how old you are, how, you know, if you're young, you're old, if you, um, you know, are in great shape or not, just sort of moving the body and getting yourself sort of warm before you go on stage is, is really helpful because while you're warming up, you know, you have, it's kind of going back into the ritual of it. You know, if you go through, you know, your warm up routine from a class, for example, then you kind of put yourself into this memory of the rehearsal or of the class and your body sort of gets back it sort of recenters so you know where you are and what you're doing so make sure that you warm up and that you are warming up basically from about 30 minutes before the performance um you know the earlier that you can arrive at the theater and sort of set all of your things your props your costumes so that there's no rush, there's no last minute wondering what's going on, that you've already set everything up, you already know where everything is, and that all you are doing is just warming up and getting your body ready to perform. Not the mind, it's not, you know, meditating or visualizing or going through the movements, because I think at a certain point, stage fright is, is something that your mind is doing, but it's, it's like messing with your mind. And so to kind of step away from the mind and into the body and centering yourself back into the body um, is something that really, really helps. Um, I remember, you know, in the past what I have is, you know, um, breathing, you know, just making sure that I'm breathing. And just trying to be really present in what's going on and just just sort of trusting in that moment of being on stage when, you know, whether you remember, whether you don't remember, whatever's happening, you're just so present on stage. And it's such a moment of where you're just, you're just there in that moment. Um, I think focusing on that has really helped me. You know, it's, I, I guess there is an aspect of mindfulness and meditation, not in the sense of like closing your eyes and breathing, but just in, in sort of trying to be as present as you can. So I think one of the things about stage fright is it's like anxiety, it spirals. So you kind of, once you start thinking of everything that can go wrong, then your mind just supplies more and more and more and you kind of get spiral. It's what happens when you have like anxiety issues. I know. <laughs> I know. I've had them. Um, so one of the things to do is to just bring yourself back to the present. And actually, um, generally speaking, I found that in performances when I am distracted or I'm thinking about something else, those are the performances when I am much more likely to forget a movement. Um, whereas when I'm really present and just focusing on what is the next movement and what is happening right now, um, they're much better performances. And as a final note, one of the best things you can do for stage fright is, is just performing as often as you can, whether or not that's on a stage um, or talking in front of people or standing in front of people or whatever it is, just getting used to this uncomfortableness of being in front of people who are looking at you um, really helps. So in summary, stage fright is totally normal and um, it's something to go through. However, if um, what I would suggest to make it better is to um, not think, don't visualize, rather focus on the body, uh, spend your time warming up um, and be as present as you possibly can. Think as little as you possibly can. Um, don't try to sort of anticipate or think about what's going on or what's gonna happen or what movements you need to do or any of that. Just try and be really centered in the body and really present as much as you possibly can. Um, and don't worry, the audience doesn't care. They're on your side. They really, they really, they're not there to find all of the things that go wrong. They're there to support you. Um, so that's that. I hope that helps. Um, do let me know if you have other questions in the comments. 
Um, and uh, in the meantime, please do do all the YouTube things like share, subscribe, share it with a friend, comment, blah, blah, blah. And if you can, please do consider joining my Patreon at patreon.com slash Jillian Rhodes. Um, I have a lot of exclusive content there, essays, poems, merchandise of my characters, and much more. So please do check it out. And uh, thank you so much. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.